Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to an extremely hot Long Kham Farm. Um, the temperatures here are ridiculous again. Uh, it's about um, 27, 28 degrees supposedly but it's filling about 34, 35 degrees in the sun. It's extremely hot. So all the llamas are inside. It's not too bad in here. It's a bit stuffy but um, got two fans up there going and there is a breeze now and again coming through it's not too hot and, uh, let's see what the, the ceiling temperature in here is 29.1 that's the ceiling temperature that's not that's not the temperature uh, on the ground you can see the hottest it got in here last year was 33.3 and the lowest is minus 5 0.6 I think that says. So yeah, it's going to get even hotter by the end of the week. Um, we're due for temperatures, base temperatures about 37, 36, 37 but feeling about 44 degrees in full sun and that's uh, pretty hot. It's not unusual for this time of the year in the summer in the past we could have a week a month actually, I think not week, months, a month of temperatures exceeding 40 degrees. Um, a bit worrying with these guys but uh, we've got around it and we've got again. There's one thing a llama loves in the sun, and that's a good dust bath. And that's a good dust bath. If you remember, that was a swimming pool the other day. <laughs> Water's gone now. Ah, Monty. Need some water. Need to get some fresh water in there soon. As I said before, um, they've got all their thick coat on. Um, I have sheared them in the past, but found that they suffered more from the sun on their skin than on their fibre, because it actually acts as a natural sunscreen for them. And they are quite sensible, they do go in and out when they when they want to. If they want a bit of sun they'll go out and if they want to get back in the shade they'll go back in again. They love the sun. As you can see, he's quite happy now. Well, perhaps he's quite happy laying there like that. So to cool him down in the past, um, it's been essential to cool him down because it gets so hot in here. Um, and they prefer being in here in the shade than uh, obviously outside. Um, they do sit sometimes under trees but because the stable's here they'll come in and if they can't get in, if I shut the stable up so they go under the trees they'll sit by the stable doors waiting for them to be open so they have to come in really. But in the past I've had a bank of fans, even air conditioners along both sides there which did a job to, any, to a fashion but um, it was still very hot and all it did was move hot air around 
and the, the air conditioners are expensive and especially now I could not use an air conditioner down here all day so what I decided to try it that worked very well were these water misters let's go along the beam there is another one that I'm going to clean up this afternoon it hasn't been used since last year so I'm just going to give it a run through if there's anything nasty inside the tube it just attaches to the hose there and goes back up to the house and I can leave these on all day there's loads of air coming through the front of the stable for them I'll just leave these on all day if uh, it gets really hot the only thing is now and again I'll have to come down and uh, get a brush Gonna go close up. There we go. Get a brush and just sweep out the water because it does stand here. And then, it, of course, in the evening I have to clean it all out and rebed it. But that's no problem. Just for keeping these guys safe. That's no hardship. So this afternoon I'm just going to get the hoses out, run them down so they're ready to go if they're needed. I think we should be all right this afternoon. Um, and just run the. Uh, the other mister hose through with some water. So we'll get on with that. Okay, all connected. I'll turn that on. Give it a run through. Right, that's running through, so we'll leave that for twelve or ten minutes to clean out. put this fly trap up a few weeks ago and as you can see it's absolutely full and it stinks it really does smell bad even though it's done a good job in fact there's maggots that are now forming even though it's done a really good job I'm going to uh, throw it away today and I'll buy another one next week it's disgusting it smells really bad So we're probably going to be on um, the water restrictions, I would have thought, soon if we're not already. I don't think we are. I've not seen anything. Other departments around us are. Um, it's a regular thing. Every year, sometimes going into the winter, we're still on them. Uh, I think we had 40% of the uh, water needed over winter. Um, it's a very dry winter, really. Not much snow, not a lot of rain. So, uh, yeah, we're going to suffer there as well. To keep these guys safe, I so say we'll stick the water on as soon as it gets too hot for them to bear. It's getting quite oppressive in here now. It's the problem, it's all made of man made materials. So it does heat up. Also got some heat resistant material up there, which does a very good job. The uh, that light there brings in no end of heat. It's rotting now. Hopefully it will stay up. It's rotting. You can see it. You can see it there. And that, unfortunately, is rat pee and poo it gathers in there and it's just rotting it through they've all got piles of it in there which rots it oh, no way. but that'll do for now I'm sure it'll uh, I hope it'll hold what are we on now has it gone up Twenty nine point eight. Twenty nine point nine. To see. There's a little breeze blowing through. So I'll turn the sprays on now. Let's run that through.
Well, it's half past four, and thirty degrees. It's not that warm in here, actually. It's rare. In fact, that's only Patch and Casper. Hello, mate. In there. Philippe's just coming running in. Philippe's been in the dust bath. The others are up in the top field. So we're doing alright. So what I'm doing now is just uh, going along the line, making sure the nozzles are painted, pointing in the right direction. I don't want them pointing backwards, so I've got electrics, I've got fans, I've got lights, I've got the plug board. So uh, I'm making sure they're the right size. So. They'll probably move once the water turns on anyway, but uh, we'll see. to get right. Got the plug board there. That's it. Everything's up. Ready to go. And I'm pretty sure we will be needing them come next week with the temperatures soaring up like they are. It's ridiculous temperatures but uh, it's normal here in the summer. Quite often get temperatures of 40 or feeling 40 degrees. So if you like this video, um, don't forget to subscribe, like it, ring the notification bell, um, leave us a comment. And uh, I'll clean the lens for next time because I just looked at it and saw that the, uh, there was dust. Which can't be avoided really in uh, stables, but uh, yeah, I'll clean the lens. And sorry if it's a bit crackly, the sound. Um, I've only got a small Sony camera, camcorder, everything's all in one. The, camp, the microphones are on the front of it and it is what it is but it's just a one to start off with. So uh, as long as you can stand all the crackles that you get when I move it around. I'll see what happens in the future, I'll probably get another one. That's it from uh, Central France on this beautiful, beautiful hot evening. See you next time. Take care. Bye.